Many credit the founding of direct marketing to Sears Roebuck and Company in 1940, after successfully selling over 70,000 homes by mail order. Homes were shipped by railroad boxcars, and they included all materials needed to build a sturdy and well-designed house. That's when direct marketing started gaining momentum. Mail order became a popular way of selling. Kansas City businesses, such as Packer Publishing, Cooper Advertising, and Old American Insurance relied heavily on direct mail as an integral part of their growth strategies. But in 1946, a threatening postal increase from one to one and a half cents left them wondering if they could weather the storm. That's when a small group got together. A meeting was held in the cafeteria of Modern Handcraft, now Mid-America Publishing, to talk and strategize about how to make the most of the 50% postal rate hike. Word spread quickly about the group and their mission, and in just two short years, 50 to 60 direct marketing practitioners were gathering, so it became time to formalize. The Kansas City Direct Mail Club became a fully structured organization with bylaws, officers, and dues. Over the years, the organization evolved from the Kansas City Direct Mail Club to the Kansas City Direct Marketing Association to what it is today, a club of over 400 active members who support data-driven marketing. Let's take a look at how data-driven marketing has evolved over the past 70 years. Martin Bayer became the first president of the Kansas City Direct Mail Club in 1948. In 1967, Lester Wonderman coined the phrase direct marketing in a speech he gave at MIT. Color and bold graphics were introduced in the 70s, and in the 80s and 90s, the KCDMA was thriving. Members were taking bus trips for educational tours, learning the basics with Pat Friesen, and hosting events such as DM Days. And in 1993, the internet became a reality as 5 million users worldwide get online. A year later, email is still seen as a novelty to marketers, but thankfully, this fad did not fade. After the turn of the century, Google introduced AdWords, and the Can Spam Act was soon to follow. The coveted iPhone was introduced in 2007, which gave data-driven marketers even more ways to connect, build loyalty, and put consumers in the driver's seat. KCDMA also renamed the Direct Marketer of the Year Award to honor Bob Stone. Today, data-driven marketing crosses the boundaries of modern media. One-to-one -one printing, SEO, SEM, email, chatbots, mobile apps, and more. KCDMA cherishes the past 70 years of innovation. We remember the past and look to the future.